Hey everybody, today we're going to be tearing down this Ryobi power inflator. It's an 18 volt model P737 and basically this is my third one I've gone through. So let's tear it open and figure out what makes this tick. All right, so we're going to see what we get when we open this guy up. So first things first, let's find some screws. Thing sure has a lot, it looks like. Okay. All right, we can look inside of this and see lots of bits of metal. Got our battery connector, fan blade for cooling the motor, on off switch. Looks like this gas gauge is good to 150 PSI and teed off directly over off of this main guy. got this adapters save those for another time cycle some plastic now let's look at this guy so it appears as though this guy pops off it's got a little ball valve in it so that you can keep it sealed up. So one thing I noticed actually is uh, it says, I think it says five minutes on and off max duty. Doesn't say it on the back here, but basically it says five minutes on and then let it rest for five minutes. And the reason is, is that this thing, well, technically it's the pump. This heats up extremely hot and then it starts melting the rubber here and softening it to where then it wants to pop off and blow off. I mean, it's just rubber on there. And so that's why it's got a five minute on off duty cycle is not to overheat with the hot air, this connector right there. So let's see, we've got basically a ball valve, the spring to keep the pressure. And then That's it, it's just a tiny, whoop, there's the ball. Little piece of plastic. Tiny compressor, very simple. And the, the metal just wears away. There's just, you know, the inside of this cylinder just gets so worn. Let's pull off some of these rings. Okay. Oh wow. This um if I can get it out, this piston is actually just plastic. There is a little plastic. I mean it's a plastic piston, but it's got a, a little rubber gasket on it. I wonder if this gasket can just get replaced. It's covered in metal dust. I don't know if it's from the gears or what. And then there's a little air intake reed valve right here. It's, it's interesting. Oh, there we go. Oh, is that one piece? Oh, that's smart. It's a one piece rubber reed valve and gasket. I wonder if it was clean, if it would uh, actually work fine again. And then after that, it's really just a DC motor and a gearbox. There's not really a whole lot to it. Everything's just kind of all dusty and chunky and whatnot, but 
I think I'm going to just lube everything back up and see if it'll work again. Create some pressure. Because before it wouldn't get above 15 PSI or so. Although it looks like I broke one of the fan blades off. So if I want to balance it, I should break... I can't just break two off. Every other one, that one, this one, and there's no way to do it. Well, now there's no more fan blades, so I guess I won't rebuild it. So if you do take this apart, be careful of the fan blades. It appears like they do break off easy. But that's it. If you're ever wondering what's inside one of these little compressors, it's not a whole lot. It's a... Uh... Good DC motor. Yeah, look at that. Maybe that'll come in handy. Probably more handy with, uh, spinning part. Let's take this off. Could have it drive a train. Cool. It's a neat little gear motor. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the teardown of this Ryobi air compressor. Um, basically, you saw why they are so insanely cheap and occasionally are on sale for $20 or so because there's about $5 worth of parts in there. But you can get a nice motor out of it. And if you don't break the fan blades, you might even be able to clean out that pump, add some grease, and maybe actually get it running again. So good luck with that, and uh, if you like what you saw here, please like and subscribe. Thanks.